everybody, it's Kenesha from Keisha Zone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my 9 month old son. I'm going to get into it straight away, so if I talk fast it's because I'm trying to condense a lot of information. I've never done an update video before, so I'm trying to get you know as much information out. This video will contain pictures and video clips from when he was younger and all the stuff he's been doing throughout. So to be brutally honest, today is the 16th or the 17th. And we did record this on August the 13th, which is his birthday, you know, his little nine months old mark but it was a little bit chaotic and hectic and after watching the footage when i was ready to edit it i realized i didn't really get to say that much stuff and my mind was chaotic all over the place because i was trying to you know have him in the video with me so right now i'm in his room he's in his crib he's awake it's not nap time but i have to confine him otherwise he's playing with the camera with the lights all that but I wanted to be in his little area for this video, if that makes sense. So for you that are new, Idris is our first son. He is half Turkish, quarter Belgian, and quarter Afro-American. We've decided that I'm going to be speaking Dutch to him. My husband will be speaking Turkish to him. And then family members like my dad and my side of the family in the States will talk English to him. And obviously the TV is also in English. And then my husband's side of the family speaks Turkish to him. My husband and I at home, we speak a mixture of Dutch and English. We are both from Belgium. We've lived there until we were, you know, in our 20s. So it's not like we don't know the language or we're not trying to lose the language is what i'm trying to say we are aware dutch is not you know a world language but it is an additional language it will look good on his resume later it will help him when he goes back to belgium the netherlands even south africa so that's our um, system that we have going on now when i grew up the system was speaking english in the house and then dutch when you go to kindergarten it wasn't really an issue for me i'm bilingual i can switch languages you know between talking i can talk to you in english right now dan direct naar nederlands dat is niet echt een probleem voor mij je gaat niet echt een engels accent horen als ik nederlands praat I think he me. My husband is just the same. He can speak in English the whole sentence, go to Turkish, then come back, dip in a little bit of Dutch. So we expect nothing less from our son. This little one right here should not have a problem. So Idris was exclusively breastfed until he was six months old. I could tell by the end of his like four month mark, four month, five month, that he needed an additional source of food. It was almost like his nutrition wasn't enough. He would wake up really early, wake up a couple of times in the night, which is something that was not normal for him because he's been on a schedule, believe it or not, since he's two months old. So since January, I've been really trying to get him on a schedule. When he was two months old, he would eat every four hours at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and then at midnight he would get a bottle and then he would sleep through the night until like 7 30 8 o'clock for the next feeding it was easier on me that way you know i i could get some night rest in even though i was um pumping like um i think before midnight um or after midnight i'm confused anyways and since the six month mark he's been on a different schedule i am going to do a full breastfeeding video so i'll like explain more in detail in that video but he's been eating solids really good. Um, he's not really had an issue with anything. He really doesn't like apples and apple sauce all that much. But other than that, he's been fine. He prefers to eat our food more than like the pureed food and all that stuff. But yeah, it's not like he's fussy, but he just, he wants to eat grown people's food. Yeah, you love it? Yeah, push it in. Yeah, silly. He loves mashed potatoes, he loves beef stew. Dutch, we call it stofles. It's a little different than beef stew, but 
It's like the closest thing I can name it to. He loves bananas, strawberries, cherries. And then for some weird stuff, he loves pickles and he loves black olives. Which, I mean, black olives, his dad is Turkish. You know, what did we expect? But he's been eating that since he's six months, so it's like, okay. He gets his bottle around 9 o'clock, so he goes to sleep, I want to say 9.20, 9.30, and then he would sleep until 6 o'clock for his next feeding. That's at 6.30. I'm trying to see if I can push it, you know, even later than that. Like, it would be great if he woke up at 7 or something, but it is what it is. He's not waking up throughout the night. That's a blessing in itself, right? So his movement and stuff has been so amazing to track and to witness. When he was first born and they placed him on me, he was actually lifting his head and I remember the doctor or the nurse telling me like, whoa, good luck with that one. So yeah, he was doing that from the jump. Then at one week old, he actually lifted up his head, turned his head and he was smiling. I do have a video of that because I think he was smiling at what I was saying. I was saying something like, oh, you're one week old today. How is that possible, baby? And then he, I guess with my voice, he just started smiling. It was so beautiful. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Who is it I make you missed? Ma. Ma, man, vent guitar. Okay, he, he didn't want to be in the crib anymore. I got a little bit worried because he was doing everything, you know, great, like the grabbing of the, of the rattle. And look, look at my baby. Look at you holding it, Baba. You're two months and a couple of days. Look at you. Look at you, good boy. This is what, what day are we today? We are the 18th of January, 2017. And look at you. Milestone. Proud daddy, huh? Yes. And he keeps holding it. He's been holding it for like five minutes straight now. The grabbing of all the toys and the turning over and all that stuff. But it took him a while. Okay, it took him a while for him to sit up. Like wanting to sit up. He was like, I want to say between five and six months. Good teammates. Then you can all come and meet. Hey. We can watch the comics together. It is the da da da. He's been wanting to stand up since he was three months old. That was the issue. He every time I wanted to put him down on his butt and have him, you know, try to sit up straight with like the poppy pillow behind him. Flex his uh, legs to ensure that he would stand up straight. So I was like, you're never gonna learn if you, all you wanna do is stand, you know? So that was the only, not annoying part, but I was just worried that it was gonna take him a while for him to be able to sit up. You just, see, this is why I wanna put you in the grip still, cause you just wanna touch everything and feel everything and do everything and wooda wooda wooda. Also, he's not really, he's not saying anything. Sometimes he says goo. And ga, ka, ka. He does that a lot. Um. Cool. 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 Bravo. Yeah, good job. Clap, clap. Good job. That's something that I taught him. I'm so proud. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so every time he would do something good, I would say bravo, hutkidan, and then I would start clapping. And now when I just say bravo, he'll start clapping. <laughs> good job, hutkidan. He's been crawling, I want to say since six months, a little before six months. Idris, come. 
Kom drink je, kuk, kuk. Ja, die doos met speelgoed natuurlijk. Oh, mama, waarom heb je dat daar gezet? Wacht. Wacht. Oké, okay, kom. Ja. Oh, shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> dat was niet hard. <laughs> Idris, dat was niet hard. Kom aan. Kijk eens, hoe zo. Big boss, kom aan. Dat was helemaal niet hard. Zie je zo'n flinkje? Zie je zo'n flinkje? Hey, good job, silly. He gets up, push him, pushes himself up on the TV stand or on, you know, this. But also on our sliding doors. So he can just put his hands flat and then with, you know, with one foot, he will push himself up, which is amazing to watch. And since last Tuesday, he's been really good with, if I put food down on his little platter on the high chair, he picks it up, he puts it in his mouth, like cubes of cheese and peaches, just whatever I put there. Because before he would like, you know, mush it in his hand to obviously feel the texture and play around with it a little bit, which is normal, but now he's like really putting it in his mouth like immediately, you know, so that's awesome. His teeth is coming out. He has two at the bottom, which he had when he was six months. He has two at the top coming in. It's not really all the way down, but it's coming, coming in, it's coming, coming in. You see, oh, you see. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's what daddy taught you. It's not been that bad. He's, I mean, he's been crying, you know, sometimes, but not really anything severe. Um, and I'm using like an all natural teething thing. That's really all that's been going on with the baby boy. He's been flourishing. He's been growing. He's been playing, smiling, laughing, doing all the stuff you wanna do. <gasps> oh my god, is that Mickey Mouse? Did you just see me? <gasps> is that Mickey and Minnie? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that Mickey Mouse? <gasps> you want a Mickey Mouse? You want a Mickey Mouse? this from Jennifer and Nabil. Yeah, Minnie is still up there. Look! Again, this video will probably be filled with a bunch of pictures and videos, so enjoy. And then I will see you guys in the next one. the hick me or caramel ba 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 Yes, 
Yes, you are. Where's your diaper? Where's your diaper? Where's your diaper, silly? It's May the 3rd, I think, or the 2nd. You're almost six months. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Stinky. Yeah, you had a stinky butt. Yeah. Da da. Idris. Da da. Da da. Yeah.